Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest news, entertainment news, basically, and so much more. But um, this episode, I mean, it's still entertainment, but let's get my name out of the way. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co anchors with me, Ife Oluwashoke and Ife Omai. Hello. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ife, do you want to bring that behind the scenes? Just <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Can we move on, Ife? Anyways, um, we'd just like to say big shout out to our camera. Yeah, so, big shout out. Yeah, he, he does an amazing job. Yeah, he does a great guys. job. And, yeah. Uh, I don't he, have he's also well a survival. He's yeah. A, yeah. He oh, survived this. And he takes like, journalism seriously. Seriously. You yeah. know, when, when you do your job, there will, there will be times where you have the downtime. Yeah. You get me, so. Shout out to Mr. Yeah. Ayo. Yeah, shout Love out to you. <laughs> welcome back. Well, welcome home. Fresh home. Okay, <laughs> moving on real quick. Um, we're starting with um, Pastor Adeboye's tweet, which has generated a lot of conversation online. The tweet simply says, my sons, don't marry a lady who cannot cook. She needs to know how to do chores and cook because you cannot afford to be eating out all the time. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm now worried for his kids. <laughs> Are you worried? Yes, because um, the wife said um, the secretary, the son secretary, got fired. Because you know, the father asked him to. What? Because the, the father, father asked, asked him. him to. Oh, not even the mother. When he's saying son, sure? it's not, it's not his biological children. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm saying this about. I'm going back story. to his oh, family okay. now. So now I'm saying that now I'm really worried. Even then, the son kid. didn't mean it was his biological child. Then. No, no, no. no, no. no I'm talking about actual his actual son fired. We're not his... talking. Um, How did you know it's his actual son? Because the son came out to talk it. about it. Oh, so, yeah. okay. oh, you didn't know that? No, I did see that he like, came out to talk oh, about it. Okay. Oh, no. So I'm not worried for the kids now. Because he was the one that tweeted about her outfit. Do you remember? The secretary, and he was like, he said, he, 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 it's a different story. But it's he, a, he it's another story it. entirely, and it's deeper. I'm wondering, we didn't even talk about that, did we? Because it wasn't relevant. Uh -huh. Okay. But I'm really worried, I'm concerned, because um, Christianity doesn't mean you shouldn't um, do certain things the right way. You stop dragging Christianity each time this would... What's the word? Um, I mean, it's a big, if, it's a if big part of Christianity. Pastor Adeboye is in, in not place, regarded yeah, uh, as one of the biggest like, Christian he's influences. He's not perfect. You have to bring. bring I mean, bring, he can but be. But if you're calling the, the top Christian call, leaders, yeah, in without, Nigeria, it still doesn't make him listen. perfect. So we cannot always rub off his imperfection on the Christianity. Like well, he Christianity is impacting is a Christianity big deal. here so much that you cannot take one out of the if other. You need to call it's like I'm trying to take one out of the other because. Pastor Deboye is not God. He is human and he can have uh, mindsets and opinions that are skewed. You, let me, now, let me even now bust your head that Christianity is not even from God either because going to church was not in the Bible. Mm. Having a pastor was not in the Bible. So if I'm talking about Christianity, you mm. have to talk about pastors. Because that's the whole make of it. To so go to church, but, have but, a pastor. But wait, I don't get what you say. The Christian, church, so uh, they are the Christ Bible. followers. They actually. were not. They were not. As in, the, we had no physical church, like uh, physical what, what built church. The what they call the synagogues? What about the synagogues? Mm -mm, they were not churches. What were they? They were synagogues and and so what's and, the and the synagogues? Synagogues. They're basically places. Of the churches worship. we have now has a name, a denomination, a pastor, congregation. Because ushers. that is we where they have got it. Yeah, but I'm saying we don't have that system then. Even no, no, but not by there today for that they were churches. Let's not digress. And they were pastors. I think Jesus. They were was pastors the, the in the Jesus Bible. Jesus was the pastor. The disciples were the pastors. If you want to look there at was, it that what? way. Yes. They were apostles. They were apostles. Yeah. They were apostles. Not, yeah, yeah, they were apostles. That was what they were. Yeah, called. but that, what, what was happening then? What's happening now is completely of different. Of course, we know, but even, the, don't even say generally, the lifestyle that we had it's then different. is different. It, it, and so we are saying the same thing. I don't understand what the argument is. It's, it's, it's we're, we're literally saying the same no, thing. It's not, not the no, same as what is in the we're Bible. Not. We're not. You're, not. You're saying the the idea of church is not from God. That it is. You said something that mm -hmm. we can't remove Adeboye. We should remove Adeboye from. Um, Christianity. From Christianity. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when he does something or says something that doesn't sit right with everyone, he's we not. cannot always rub off his imperfection on Christians because it is an established fact that pastors are not perfect. They He's cannot. They are, they are human. They have their flaws. But what Ife is saying and saying and saying that that's, that's how we have, we have to um, talk about in terms of mm. Christianity. I don't think it's far fetched. He is a pastor, a big pastor for that matter, with a I'm huge crowd. I'm not I'm not. I'm just saying we should try to understand that they're also humans and they can make mistakes. Right. The point now okay, is... This mistake they agree that they are is becoming mistakes? too often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One. And these mistakes are kind of... Um, how do I put it now? They're, they're backward mistakes. 
because if you believe that um it's a woman it's only a woman that should know how to cook that 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 worries me because um i don't think i would suffer in any marriage if i eventually get married right because I can cook anything I want. I can walk into the kitchen and do whatever I want. I don't see it as a problem. Before you carry on, let me just take some reactions um, from social media. This one is coming from um, at Solomon Bucci. He says, hello, sir. Also teach your sons that cooking is not embedded in a woman's private part. Yeah, yeah. Every human should know how to cook and do home chores. In marriage, a man will have to cook, clean, and wash. Teach your sons this too. A woman wasn't, was not born with um, kitchen and washing machine. Um, at Big Rookie says, thanks daddy for always telling us the truth. They want to use modern life to hide away from their responsibility. We will fish them out and leave them for eternity. <laughs> brother okay the next one says um this is from at gifted hands underscore abj just ask your son to get a cleaner and a cook um a wife's role isn't cooking and cleaning she does she does that not as duty when respected people like you project this narrow uh, view of marriage exactly. don't you think of the effect on homes why can't your son learn to cook i'm a man by the way mm. so yeah we also had a response from um, Toke Makinwa, so let's have that on the screen. And I think she said exactly how I feel. Cooking is not restricted to a gender. Mm. Guys, learn how to cook so you don't base the entirety of picking a life partner on your belly. <laughs> if you don't want to make sure or uh, make enough to hire a chef, life is too short to be triggered all the time. Um, when Pastor Deborah says, my sons, ask yourself, are you a member of his flock? Are you his spiritual child? If no, why are you so bothered? Let him advise his own. If it's not for you, jump and pass, uh, my friends. I promise you won't go to hell by facing front. Mm -hmm. ah, it's okay, just give different levels of punchline in just two tweets. And yeah, I stand with Toke. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, I totally understand when... Um, okay, I asked... Um, okay, I was talking to a friend... I think a few weeks back and um, I was like saying I don't care if I get married to a white lady do you understand and it was like really that's so how are you going to be eating and I'm like really is that what you're thinking about like what I'm going to be eating? the white and ladies cook too yeah and I was so. like it, it, then it was like no aside, aside that it was like you won't even like their food mm. do you understand like don't you want to eat the local mm. dishes and all of that and and I was like that don't matter because I'll cook whatever I want mm. And it was like, so what's the point of getting married? Well, so okay. there are a lot of people with that type of novel. The idea of getting mind. married is to get someone to cook for them. I think what's even more upsetting about this is that women love this as well. It's not just about man saying it's women put their, let's say, confidence and, and sense of being based on how good they can cook. Mm. Um, and they feel like it is their responsibilities. I've been to many homes, and, and it doesn't even have to be marriage, even relationships where the man was going to the kitchen, no, 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 leave the kitchen for me, leave the kitchen for me. Um, wow. Like it's their thing. So I think we've just been raised, a lot of women have been raised um, in that standard, and mm. they like it, and then also the men perpetuate it. I would, however, say, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the woman being in the kitchen mm. and owning the kitchen. Yeah. Um, if a woman wants to cook and she wants to take care of her family and she wants to be duty. domesticated and she wants to make it her duty, she is allowed to do so. The only problem comes is when others who don't want this lifestyle from themselves now become criticized. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's where the problem lies. Mm -hmm. If a man, and I think you can cut your coat according to your size, there are women out there that would fit the men or the sons that Pastor Adeboye is talking about. And yes, sons leave. and daughters, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so they would fit that. Um, <laughs> I, don't think I, I don't think I am for everyone. I don't think everyone is for me. So mm. you can find the one that rocks your boat. But however... Preach, sister! <laughs> however, my problem with this thing is that it's so general and the way we, we take our pastors in this side of the world so seriously and he's aware of that he knows the effects it has i think it's this tweet was very callous and i like to say that this tweet is actually very old so if you look into this this has actually come up before it has even gotten to redeem and this was coming from somebody who actually went to the church it came up in 2017 um so this is just actually a retweet like a reshuffle of what he said and they were all surprised because it went to the church and we, the, the feminists and all those people in the redeemed church and all the women that who didn't support it came out to say this was actually a very bad idea 
So I don't know if he's the one handing the page directly to say that this is his current so. thoughts as of today because he had been anal analyzed and he had kind of retracted, mm, sort of retracted to just re-explain himself. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there as well. Um, personally, I just think, um, like you rightly said, it's okay if a woman feels that way, but um, there are a lot of women that feel, but I believe that the whole idea of marriage is to help each other, right? Mm. So don't make it look like it's only a woman's duty. So anytime the woman is in this post or she's not around, you're not going to go into the kitchen. So you have you have to always wait for your woman to get back before you get before mm. you get food prepared or you get the house clean. No, that's a wrong idea. And also, and I lot... usually like to bring this in. Also, look at the dynamics of your relationship. Sometimes, yes, we talk about me. I'm not a big fan of cooking. I mean, I like to cook when I feel like I want to eat what. I made you know there's that mm. feeling and you think I'm the only one that can get this mm. particular taste that I want right? like my noodles okay yeah but <laughs> <laughs> aside that I, I can't be bothered yeah, yeah? but um, there are people that are in certain relationships where they know that they've mentally it's not like they sat down to say this is what you do this is what I'm going to do they already agreed and decided you're bringing the money yeah I'm taking care of the kitchen and it's yeah. fine right so just decide what works for you yeah. how how you're okay with what you've chosen to yeah. do and me I already know that I need to work hard to be sure that, I, that have, I have I yeah. have parts of my chef's yeah. money so when yeah. we become two in the house you are yeah. bringing the parts of the chef money yeah. do you understand so it's, or you could just find well, somebody who cooks because for, for example they now, cook and it, store up in the fridge yeah. and then you I was, I was saying it before Big we went out. on. Go on. Oh, no, go on, go on. I was saying, I was saying before, the com before we went on set that in my, in my relationship, if we have cooked together as a couple, he's cooked maybe um, in 100%, 100%, he's cooked 99% of the time. I can count how many meals I've actually cooked for him. Um, so, it, and it works for me, it works for us. And if that wasn't even the case, if, if I didn't have somebody who was um, cooking for me, I, don't mm -hmm. I, I still don't think I would be in the kitchen. I just wanted to add on, on what we were saying about even, because I remember I even mentioned that, you know, you think if you like it, yeah, go for it. And if the man, you know, fit yourself. I think another thing I wanted to just add is that you have to also think about why you like it. Because there is social conditioning. Mm -hmm. and some things that I thought, just who I am, I'm just really respectful and really whatever. And then once I started living abroad, I realized I'm actually not this person. I, this is actually a, an oppression. I need to be more out there. Mental I, it's oppression. okay for me to actually we have an opinion and all of that stuff. We need to move on. Exactly. Well, I feel like there's some social conditions that are just yeah, more what healthy. Social conditions? My point is that women should also think: Is this because of your condition? Like, if um, social conditioning, like, is this actually something that is like liberating? If you, if you actually had you money, had your choice, had your you choice, want would you want that? Well, yeah. I, want, I just want to use this opportunity to say a big shout out to my father for um, showing us the right parts. Even up to now, my father is the one who goes to the markets to buy everything, and he still gets into the kitchen. And then maybe my mom does like. A few things. A few things, mm. but he still goes to the market to get everything done. Okay, shout out to Mr. Shoke. Yeah. yeah.